morning and welcome to vlogmas day 13 and 12. i'm combining blah i can't speak i am combining the two days because yesterday i meant to vlog and i forgot my camera at home so i managed to take a couple clips with my phone i'll include them in the video no problem um but yeah yesterday was just like a really low-key day we woke up i took will out to play in the snow um, I took Nova out for a bit to run around. She's been so good in her crate. She's finally free. <laughs> I dropped my family at the airport this morning. Um, and yeah, we just kind of went around Regina. We did some Christmas shopping. We went to Southland Mall. We saw Santa again. And then we just ordered some food, had a couple drinks, and laid low for the evening because they had to wake up today and go to the airport. Nova did so good this week. Um, I think I took a clip of... She's able to kind of be around Will now, um, ignoring him, which is really important. Um, we just, for the couple days, we let her just stay away for the first little bit. And then by Wednesday, I want to say, we started bringing her up. At first, I just held Will and ignored her. So she was able to like walk around the house, come smell him. She still barked, but like wasn't showing her teeth or anything like that and was able to just kind of like ignore him. We also had him give her a treat and she took it, no problem, super gently, no barking. So that makes me feel a million times better because I truly don't think it's like kid aggression. I watched so many videos on kid aggression since that first day and it's really not the behavior that Nova's showing. It's just she's cautious, right? So for when we go have kids, I think it's going to be fine, especially when she has time to like get to know the baby and like stuff like that. I um, have a hair appointment today, which I'm super excited about. I haven't got my hair done in months like six months i have highlights in my hair and i actually found an old picture when i got them done they were like right up to my root so my hair is super overgrown i am going to give it like a little bit of a trim i want to keep my length but i want a haircut that's going to help me with my curly hair it's just so dry out here in regina that i'm like struggling to do anything with it but i will be doing a video at some point just showing you how i do like my curly hair and I'm still learning, <laughs> like yesterday I didn't put any product and it is like super flat. It's arguably, it's basically straight. So it's just hard being out here because there's no moisture whatsoever. So I have my hair, which I actually have to leave shortly because I've never been there before. I'm going to a different hairdresser. Um, I actually was going to her when I first moved out here to Regina, and I really liked her and I can't remember why I stopped going to her. But she's opened up her own salon since then. So I'm gonna go give her a go, um, and then I'm literally gonna spend the entire weekend cleaning my house because it is a complete disgusting mess with having my mom and Will here. Like, we haven't really been cleaning. We've just kind of been tidying um, as we go. So I've already done a quick tidy of the main floor, but I have so much laundry to do. I have to mop everything, like get it a thousand percent back to where it was. Anyways, huge update for y'all because I haven't been vlogging all week with work just because I literally work, come home, do nothing. So the weekend is here and the vlogs are back up and running. I'm just on my way out to my hair appointment but I did want to show you this plant my mom got me from Costco. If you guys have Costco and you have these, you have to pick it up because it is stunning. It's like this adorable Christmas arrangement and this kind of like crystal red ball. Nope, bowl. Um, I don't know what's in here, but these like adorable kind of like ferny things, all this greenery, red, and a huge poinsettia. Um, mine's not doing super well. We noticed when we got it home that some of the leaves were a little crunchy, struggling. Um, but I did give it a water and it has perked up just a baby bit, but it is so pretty. I'll give you a 360 here. Isn't it so cute? And I think it was like $18, $17. So would recommend for sure. Okay, now I'm late, so I have to go to my hair appointment. This is the before. It's actually like the longest it's ever been, I think, in years. So we'll see how much I have to trim. I'm gonna ask her for a very real reply, like her opinion on how much I should take off because it's been so long and it's pretty damaged. So hopefully not too, too much because I like me some long hair. My hair is done. Oh my god, it's pretty, it probably looks super long still, but my hair used to go like, 
she probably took a good like three four inches off but because it was so damaged i get it oh it feels so healthy um she didn't take any length off of my bangs because i'm wearing them out and she gave me like the curly haircut curly girl haircut um so i'm really excited to see what it does when i go to do it naturally i'm hoping that it does more than what it was doing because it was just so weighed down and heavy oh my god it feels so hell it's been way too long like way too long so next time i'm going to try and book in maybe every three months get a haircut she i missed her i don't know why i didn't like stop going to her her salon's so sweet so a thousand percent would recommend it's at the eau salon in the east end of regina her name is orla it's her salon i think i mentioned that a million times but yeah haircut new me oh it's just so soft and smells so good all right i'm gonna head home um i'm probably gonna end the vlog for today if that's okay sorry guys i just will probably go home hang out not do a whole lot today so i'll see you guys all in my next vlogmas i'm loving my hair but yes sorry there's stuff on my camera i will see you all in my next video bye guys Bye.